Hi there everyone and welcome to my new season of Formula One 2018 Career Mode. And yes, I have picked a new team uh, this season. I have picked the Racing Point team, which is uh, formerly known as the Force India team, which uh, shut down last season and Racing Point team formed. And uh, we're after 30 of 58 laps. We have about 28 laps to go and I am off to a fantastic start uh, with this new team. And you see I'm about uh, eight seconds uh, behind, eight seconds ahead of uh, Valtteri Bottas. And 12.8.29 seconds ahead of the uh, Red Bull uh, Max Verstappen. And this is my seventh season of my Formula 1 2018 career mode. I, I started 12th in the race. Uh, I was pretty slow in, in qualifying. I was trying to get some speed in there, but I'm sure I am getting some speed during the uh, during race pace. I did good in strategy, and and I was also fastest in the uh, third qualifying race. But then I ended up uh, being in 12th position because I did get a minute and 20 uh, uh, out of this thing. Uh, Lewis Hamilton didn't do too well, and he's still continuing to not do so well. Uh, during the start of the race, I. Um, made my way way up in the field and then uh, passed all the uh, slower cars that were caught in traffic and then made my move then I came up into seventh and then and in two laps I already went, went up to fourth place but I'm trying to hold off uh, Botas I know he's tough out there but it's a brand new season and I'm with the brand new team after two seasons with the Renault I did a great job uh, with that team, but it was time for me to move forward and then go to a newer team uh, with a new attitude, and I'm now with the Racing Point uh, Team Mercedes. Yes, they do run the Mercedes uh, chassis, but it's not as uh, really uh, as fast as the AMG Petronas Mercedes, but it still uh, hangs in uh, to, to equal the speed. But I'm so excited this weekend that we're going to have, uh, in real life, the Formula One 2018 career mode. As well, now we got a safety, uh, virtual safety car. It's not a full safety car yet. It looks like somebody is out of the race. We're going to have to check and see who that is. Oh no, and it's Max Verstappen, who is running in third place. And once again, if Red Bull uh, in 2019 doesn't get their reliability done this season, it's going to be a long uh, journey to try to see them coming up top. I'm going to have to slow down a little bit because uh, I'm just chugging my butt delta right now. Because the virtual safety car hasn't ended yet. Uh, what a tough break for Max Verstappen. He was he was running in third place, and he, he was running on the ultra soft. He had the faster tires, and, and it's too bad uh, to, to, to see him out of the race like this. And that means, look who's running in third place. Uh, you know, the team uh, that I wanted to pick a choice on, I was either going to run for Haas or run for. Uh, I'll run for this team, uh, and there you see it right there. Max Verstappen has just broken down. Engine reliability problem again. And I hope we don't see that happen this season when they run the new uh, Honda Motors uh, this weekend uh, at the Australian Grand Prix. I did see the Formula One 2019 uh, season launch. I can't wait to see these new cars uh, when they run in the Australia Corner uh, tonight. I'll be bowling uh, tonight at the Holiday Bowl, and I'll be watching it there on uh, Watch ESPN. Uh, we're now after 32 of 58 laps. And once again, uh, I have my video on live mode. Uh, let's see if I uh, make sure if I have any uh, chatters or um, or people uh, watching me uh, race here at the season opener in Australia. My seventh season of my Formula One uh, 2018 career mode. Nothing is uh, updated yet from Codemasters. I know they did uh, update the 2019 cars uh, for NASCAR, but I'm not so sure if they're going to update the 2019 cars in the Formula One uh, from Codemasters. 
Either they're going to do it or maybe uh, wait until the new game comes out uh, this August. Anyway, what a fantastic uh, race so far uh, for uh, Kevin Magnuson running in third place in the Haas. We're running about nine seconds uh, now ahead of uh, Kevin Magnuson. So we're seeing some uh, surprising teams uh, coming up top. We usually see uh, the Mercedes and Ferrari. I was going to drive for the Ferrari team, but apparently some of the uh, one of the subscribers uh, that I know of um, has taken over the Fer Scudiera Ferrari and that was Tom 97 so I wasn't be able to uh, to drive uh, for that team so I wasn't really uh, want to be able to drive uh, for for that team at all or anything So when he took over the Scudier Ferrari, I had to decide, well, I had to go with the Racing Point team because that was the only team uh, that was uh, more in contention because they had the more values than, than Haas did. Last season when I was with Renault, uh, the uh, Racing Point team um, were, uh, I think they were like 9th and uh, 11th in points. But Ocon uh, didn't really get the job done. But I came along to help uh, Perez. Uh, I don't know where he's running right now. I'm going to have to do a full race update and do, do a teammate status. I am going to pit in the last, uh, in, in 12 laps to put the Ultrasofts in and then finish it out. I'm running on the uh, Super Soft tires. Let's see. I haven't really used much of my Super Softs uh, lately. They say the Super Softs can last right into the end of the race. And 17 seconds ahead of uh, K Mag. And you see Botas uh, right there. Uh, I'm going to try to lower my ERS because uh, it's uh, dropping fast. And any of you other uh, subscribers uh, want to come into uh, my subscription for Speed Japo 3, uh, feel, please uh, feel free to do so. And, and come into the Speed Japo uh, channel.
We're now uh, at 21 laps to go. And meanwhile, I pitted um, seven laps uh, later than anyone else, so I have seven laps fresher tires than Botas and Magnuson. That was a pretty good strategy. Well, sorry about that, anyone. My camera just uh, dropped on the floor because I have to charge it every time uh, when I use it so uh, I don't uh, lose battery life. Uh, anyway, back to the action. And Daniel Ricardo got the fastest right there. And those Red Bull cars are pretty good. Well, he's the last Red Bull car out there. The other car is out of the race uh, with the blown motor. And Ricardo this season is now driving for the Renault uh, Formula One team. If I really had my, uh, my PC uh, driver, then I'll be able to uh, do these, uh, these different updates. But you know the car will not change because it's still the 2018 uh, uh, regulations, not the 2019, because that will be on next year's uh, Formula One 2019 game. There you see some others now making a pit stop. That's the slow Williams team. I know they're going to be slow this season with uh, Robert Kubica and uh, Giovinazzi. Man, I can't wait for Robert Kubica. I'm so glad to see him back in, uh, in Formula One uh, career competition. Because I think he did maybe about six years of World Rally uh, Championship, and, and then he did some sports cars and, and other stuff. So it's good having him back here at Formula One, and let's see how Kimi Raikkonen can do for the Alfa Romeo racing team. I think Daniel Ricciardo right now has uh, fresher tires. I think he already made his pit stop, so did uh, my teammate. Sergio, that's why they're running a lot faster. I'm expecting the pit on lap 43. There'll be two new drivers in the McLaren team. Remember, Alonso's retired from his Formula One career. I'll be seeing him in the Indy 500. And it looks like uh, Botas is going to pit, so everybody is pitting. I'll be pitting on lap uh, 44, and I'm going to put uh, the Ultras on. Because I have uh, six laps fresher tires than everyone.
Now let's see what my teammate is. Well, he's not doing that bad. He's uh, running in uh, seventh place right now. So the uh, racing team, uh, so the racing point uh, team Mercedes running first and seventh. And Botas is running the AMG Mercedes and Magnussen is in the uh, Haas uh, Ferrari. They ran Masterati's last season but uh, they didn't have uh, enough uh, power or enough speed so they went back to the Ferraris this season uh, with the new sponsor Rich Energy. kind of familiar about running a pink, white, uh, blue, uh, black colors on this, uh, on the Racing Point team. But uh, the pink uh, is recognized for breast cancer awareness. We have about 18 laps to go, and I'm about three laps away of making my final pit stop. I'm 29 seconds ahead of uh, Botas. And after I make this pit stop, I should be able to be about 10 or 9 seconds ahead. So hopefully they make a, the pit stop uh, a fast one. going to change it back into standard mix now that I have more uh, fuel mix uh, left over. set up on uh, increased top speed so uh, I'm gonna have a little bit of oversteer on the car actually a little bit of understeer so if I hit any curving or anything I'm gonna lose control so I need to be careful to uh, avoid uh, some of the apex here I'm about to close in on some lap traffic, but uh, I won't be able to uh, close in because within the next lap, I'm going to pit. So I'm going to go to the race at the end with uh, ultra softs. 
And so glad last season, last season here in Australia, I was leading this race to nominating and then uh, my, my Renault Formula One team. And then, uh, then I had to make a gamble to make a final pit stop. I put the ultras on and then suddenly uh, it was too late. And that was Alfa Romeo's uh, first win uh, last season. Charles Affera won now uh, who's with Ferrari. But I'm not going to let that happen this time, uh, this season. Next time around, I'm going to be making my final pit stop. I couldn't imagine I was going to take the lead of this race. I thought I was going to be, uh, I was projecting to be maybe fourth or third uh, throughout the entire race, uh, but this Mercedes engine's got some power. Maybe uh, kind of uh, almost equal power to the AMG Petronas Mercedes. You know, I do a great job uh, during practice and qualifying, you know, trying to keep everything uh, reliable because my durability uh, with the Racing Point uh, Team Mercedes, uh, I only have to upgrade the uh, durability. And I, and I must uh, fill it in, uh, for the first half of the season until, uh, because this season we are going to have the regulation change and oh, and there's the safety car. I better make a pit stop right now. I don't want to have the, the same problem. Oh no, and my teammate is out of the race. My teammate is out of the race with a blown motor. I cannot believe it. He was running in seventh place and he was going to get some points uh, for, for the constructors and, and he's out of the race. Uh, I better make it out of here. I don't want to have the same gamble like I had last season. And this is uh, not going to be deja vu all over again. Well, and this time, I stay in the lead. And I know the safety car is waiting for me uh, to, to, to go behind. Uh, I'm now into lean mix. I'm going to slow down. Oh, and there's my teammate Perez. Blown motor. It appears to me that Sorokin uh, was ahead of me. And already you see uh, I got uh, Botez right behind my back. I'm going to be careful out there to make sure I don't hit the safety car. I don't want to uh, get a big penalty for it. So we're under a safety car. Man, well, what a tough break for my teammate Sergio Perez. He was running good out there and everything, but let's hope that this season he doesn't have uh, the same problem he had last season. He had 60 NFs uh, with blown motors. Well, we can't wait until we go to those 2019. I hope the reliability uh, and the attrition will be less uh, than it was uh, in 2018. Uh, and 
with this safety car. This is the second safety car of the day. The first safety car uh, came out uh, with Marcus Erickson. The Alfa Romeo racing was out of the race with a blown motor. Then we had a virtual safety car, and uh, I already got four, four, 16 cars left in the field. And Carlos Sainz and the, uh, and the Renault Formula One team making his return. Ooh, <laughs> man, I'm very glad I didn't hit the safety car. I better make sure my wing is not damaged. Nope, it's not damaged. <sighs> Thank goodness. That would have been a whole lot worse. I think probably next time around we're, we're going to be fitting because I think I see uh, Lewis Hamilton uh, out there has not uh, joined, the, joined the lineup. You know, we're still... Well, I don't think that's Lewis Hamilton. I think that's one of the Williams. Waiting for... Uh, Sorak, and remember, he won't be in Formula One this season because there's two new drivers in the Williams, Kabisa and Giovinazzi. Well, so it looks like we'll have a safety car in this lap. I think we'll be back to green uh, for a 10 lap shootout to the finish. And I already made my pit stop. getting a restart and with 10 laps to go it's going to be a 10 lap shootout to the finish let's hope I could win this race for the racing point team I haven't won in Australia in the last uh, two seasons because I was running for the Mercedes AMG team let's hope, uh, let's hope I get this team to start out the, the my season seven of my Formula One career mode. And here we are in resuming racing. And look at the advantage I got from Botas. And, and he's about to get passed by Magnussen. And Magnussen now goes up to second. He passes Botas for second place. And now Haas is out in second place. What a terrific run this has been for uh, Kevin Magnussen. But sorry, Magnussen, I couldn't be your teammate. I wanted to go to Haas, but uh, it looks like this team was the upper notch.
laps to go. Can I try to hold off Kevin Magnuson? Magnuson has got the Ferrari engine. Well, right now I'm just gaining a gap on Magnuson. I'm pulling away and I'm a lot faster than him. And faster again, minute twenty two point four eighty one. And I'm gaining a lot of gap on Magnuson. And Botez is on dirty air, that's why he's slowing down so quickly.
We've got a 3.6 second lead. Looks like my ultra soft tires are, are working pretty well, uh, better than the super softs. It's going to be a shame though uh, for the new Formula One game uh, in 2019 that we're only going to go to three uh, tire uh, compounds, soft, medium, and hards. But I think that's pretty good to, to do it because I think uh, the Pirelli factory doesn't want to waste any more of those uh, slick Formula One tires. <coughs> And, and you know that'll be a, a savior so that way that way these Formula 1 cars can get more laps out of them and we know that, that soft tires uh, can last for about 25 to 30 laps so I think maybe the Australian Grand Prix everybody can make it on a one tire stop the hypers and the ultra softs but uh, they're not going to be uh, going to play this game anymore but, but aerodynamically the Formula 1 cars will still be very fast Four point second lead. Three laps to go. Four laps to go. Three laps to go. Yeah, am I going to make a great surprise effort winning for the Racing Point T Team Mercedes? See if I can just hold on to this car with three laps to go. I think we're about to see two big upsets today. With the uh, Racing Point Team Mercedes and Haas. And if I could have drove for Haas, uh, we would have had a one-two finish.
Next time around will be the final lap of this race. Well, I'll be going for my 331st career victory and my very first uh, and my very first win for the Racing Point Team Mercedes. Man, I didn't expect that I was going to be this fast. I am just so shocked today. I was passing many cars and everything, and I was just uh, driving forward and forward. That's why I keep my uh, durability uh, reliable. Uh, keep it with less laps, and then uh, go the longer distance. I'm very comfortable with that 5.7 lead over uh, Magnuson. Next time around will be the final lap of this Australian Grand Prix. White flag. One more lap to go. these final corners beautifully. Queen right into that turn, now into the to the curving, curving apex. Now the back long straight. two corners and right into the home stretch and it's definitely gonna happen first win for the racing point team Mercedes and I get my 331st career victory I sure have I didn't expect I was gonna win Wow what a tremendous job We're joining this new team and then look at that victory And you see all my new crews and everything. I also changed my helmet as well, too. I, I put a chrome pink on the helmet. I have the same helmet, but I put different colors on it. Hey, good job for Lewis Hamilton. He uh, recovered to finish 8th place. He was started 13th. Mm. <laughs> Feel kind of hippie looking good in pink. <laughs> oh, what a nice one. <clears throat> we for an inexperienced team. Hey, a good race for the Haas team as well, too. So this is the season opener, and I get my big 25 points there. Most definitely it was Kevin Magnuson. He had a phenomenal race to, to today. Well, and still named Force India, but it's now Racing Point Team Mercedes. And then let's take a look at the standings. And you know, we're leading in the standings too, five ahead of the Haas. Haas Ferrari and the Mercedes now back uh, in their top ways. In third place, Ferrari and Red Bull Racing. So thank you everyone for watching my live video of the Australian Grand Prix Season 7 of my Formula 1 2018 career mode. And we'll uh, see if we can make it two in a row uh, in Bahrain. But everyone, enjoy the rest of your day, and uh, we'll do another one uh, later on, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.